Yeah. All right. Hi, I'm Misty from Decoding Dyslexia, and this month is Dyslexia Awareness Month, and we are raising awareness and highlighting school districts that are doing uh, literacy improvements. So today I have with me Sturgeon Bay School District, and they would like to talk about how they are improving their lit literacy. All right. Yeah, I'm going to introduce you, Dr. Ann Schmagel. Good afternoon. My name is Ann Schmagel, and I am the Director of Teaching, Learning, and Technology for the Sturgeon Bay School District. Over the past several years, um, we've been watching the trends in our data around reading. And unfortunately, we saw the trend that it wasn't going the way, the direction that we would like. So as we talked about the instruction that was happening in our classrooms and where we would like our readers to be, we knew we needed to make some changes. Um, we need, knew we needed to look at our core instruction and talk about how we could provide professional development for our staff in order to build uh, the instruction that ha was happening throughout the district. So we began with looking at our 4K through fifth grade. Um, we will move on to middle school and eventually to the high school. Um, but like I said, our focus this year is to begin with 4K through fifth grade and really start to look at the core instruction that's happening in our classrooms. I'm gonna turn you over to Constance Vogel. Hello, I'm Constance Vogel. I am the reading specialist for third, fourth, and fifth grade at Sunrise Elementary. And I'm going to talk a little bit about one of the biggest um, decisions that we made uh, on our literacy journey. So we decided that after we looked at our data that we wanted to get some professional advice and we decided to hire a literacy consultant. So our data team got together in the summer and fall of 2020 and we interviewed three different candidates. Uh, two were from Wisconsin and one was from Montana. And we uh, discussed which one we thought would be the best fit for our district and our needs. And we decided to hire um, a wonderful consultant named Dr. Danielle Thompson. And she comes to us from Bozeman, Montana. Uh, she is the head of the Transformative Reading Teacher Group. And we were able to meet with her for the first time uh, last year in the spring where she came and she uh, did a walkthrough and collected data and compiled for us uh, a needs assessment. Um, and it helped us figure out a, a plan for our journey of where we're headed for the next three to five years. Um, and since then, she has been coming to our school and working with coaches, principals, teachers, um, and helping us devise this plan and guiding us along the way um, monthly. She's been here in September, was here for a week. She just recently was here for a week in October. She'll be back again in November. Um, she's helping us to coordinate um, book studies for our teachers and our leaders and just really helping us pave out our path and take a look, a really deep look at our data and help us um, tightening up our systems and seeing ways that we can improve in, in teaching and learning. Hello, my name is Katie DeVillers. I'm principal of Sawyer Elementary School, and I joined this year, and I was happy to see that we had so much support in a plan for literacy based on our data, which wasn't so great. I'm going to talk to you about what happens generally each month to support literacy. We have reading interventionists and reading coaches that get together for monthly meetings. They work with Dr. Nell Thompson, Dr. Nell Thompson to help us with planning for professional learning. There's at least two and sometimes three times a month where we meet in a professional learning community, either direct teaching, researching in the form of articles um, about reading or um, individual um, work using Dr. Deb Glazer's um, top 10 tools for reading. Um, that work is ongoing and consistent, and I'm very pleased to say that our coaches have been working really hard not only to assess kids, but to support teachers in this change and their learning as we go through the year. And here is Jeannie Shaw. Yeah. Yes. Yes. My name is Jeannie Shaw, and I am I am the reading specialist at the middle school, and I'm involved in elementary school as well as an interventionist here. So I am going to talk about the topic of dyslexia and how that relates to our movement here in Sturgeon Bay Schools. And one thing that we have done in our district is we're grounding ourselves in the simple view of reading, the theoretical model of decoding times language comprehension equals reading comprehension. And that is um, the foundation to all our conversations that we have in the classrooms with coaches with interventionists is 
um, are we addressing the simple view of reading? And with that um, knowledge of that theoretical model, um, we have taken the initiative to address screening tools that are evidence-based and have the sensitivity and specificity to find the kids we need to find. So our kindergarten and pre-K school um, teachers classrooms have you're using the early bird early screening assessment tool it is the top one on the line really that's going to identify those kids that we need to find in kindergarten and then we shifted away to, away from our previous screening tools towards more evidence-based inner uh, screening tools we're using a cadence which is really strong and it's um, evidence and finding those kids that we need to find and we're using that as a screening tool and then the next thing we're doing is we're using the diagnostic tools that help us really come down to what do the kids really need as far as decoding phonology and language comprehension so along with all this great stuff that we're doing with our coaches and our consultants it's really grounding ourselves in um, the theoretical model um, understanding our assessment tools, making sure that we have the right screening tools and fate in place that's going to help us find our kids, and then developing teacher knowledge with all our staff and our interventionists. So we're all using evidence-based intervention and literacy practices. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate being able to share our journey. And we're really excited about where our teachers are going as far as their knowledge and the ability to help all of our children learn to read. And I'm going to wrap it up by giving Sturgeon Bay School District a huge applause. High five. High five. <laughs> um, they're doing an amazing job here. And um, we hope other school districts will follow suit. And you have a nice day. Oh,